what's good everybody welcome back so today we're gonna be doing add a leaf on this one since last time i came i did a leveling kit on the front the only thing that was missing was the back so the first thing go ahead and jack up the car as you guys can see i already have it jacked and we're gonna be doing one side at a time and get you a jack stand which i already have it here if you got an impact get an impact if you don't it's, you still can do the job it's just going to take a little bit more time all the information is going to be on the title but yeah let's get started go ahead and jack up the car take up the wheel put it in jack stands and i'll be right back the next step go ahead and remove these bolts i'm not too sure what size is going to be yours but on mine it's a 19 millimeter so i'm gonna go ahead and turn these up but before that i'm gonna go ahead and put a jack stand right here on the diff so the main thing here whenever you are adding the leaf the way you want to do it is go ahead and put a jack right there on the differential kind of jack it up not a lot but as much as you can that way if you have an impact you can get the impact right here under the other thing that i do is go ahead and put a jack right here you don't want to lift too much just enough where the jack is just kind of sitting on the leaf springs under so i'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolts from under the leaf springs that way i can be working on the leaf springs next okay so now that you loosen up all the bolts i still got the other one right there as you guys seen you see that I made a gap right here so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and raise up the jack and just so the leaf springs can go up once i do that i'm gonna go ahead and remove the bolt all the way i already took everything off and i did forget one thing on this model vehicle the shock is right under where the plate is at before you do this just go ahead and remove the shock because it is going to give you a little bit of struggle to take out that plate that plate under it so as you guys can see it kind of pushed it that way but i'm gonna be able to take it off i just don't want you guys to struggle this plate is the one that i'm talking about as you guys can see it's stuck right with the shock so just go ahead and remove the shock and you should be able to take it out without struggling so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the jack a little bit down let the diff sit on the jack stand and that way we can have room to be able to take out the bolt that it has on the leaf springs this is the bolt that we we're trying to remove before even attempting to remove it just go ahead and spray it with some pv blaster or wd-40 make sure you guys get another jack stand and put it right here on the front and the other one is going to be right here on the diff before removing this bolt and lowering the leaf springs you're going to want to get a, a seat clamp just like this what i used to do is just go ahead and put it right here. and i'm gonna spray this bolt again after that just go ahead and loosen that bolt up luckily on this one i was able to use a 13 so it has a little groove to be able to put it so that's what i'm gonna use the vice grips on mine, so unfortunately they, they are kind of messed up so I can't really use them so now I'm gonna let go of the jack and that way we can uh, put the other leaf right. it's pretty much already with no tension right here so you can just loosen this up the only thing is Whenever you are loosening them up, just be ready to get them. Just the bottom one though. These little plates right here are really important, so go ahead and put them back. The only thing is, on the new one, I'm pretty sure it probably doesn't have it. Hopefully you guys don't get like a squeak or anything like that. But let me get the new one and I'll show you guys how to install it. On this vehicle, this leaf spring is pretty much the same thing from this end to the, to the center of this bolt. So it don't really matter how it goes, but you gotta be real careful whenever you add in the leaf spring, make sure you put it the right way. The other thing, it comes with this right here, which is way longer bolt, and you're not gonna use this one right here no more. So just go ahead and remove it, and install the new one. Just like that, pretty simple, huh? So now go ahead and uh, just put this under, So just go ahead and put the bolt and the nut all the way you can just by lifting it up 
this is where this comes in handy again. So just put it same spot, same way as you took it out. Just make sure they not like twist it this way or that way. Make sure they lined up from the front and on the back. Okay, so as you guys can see, these are lined up right here and they're lined up right here on this side. So what I'm gonna do on this side, since I got this clamp right here, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep jacking it up from this side, kind of grab it on the center of it. That way if it moves, I can just bring it back this way. I went ahead and used my impact, but I went ahead and put it to the lowest setting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and torque it to spec. The torque spec should be on the paper. So once I'm back, I'm already gonna have it torque to spec. I just gotta go find my torque wrench. So the next thing, you're gonna wanna lift the leaf springs. So just pay attention. I'm gonna fast forward it and just do it the same exact way I'm doing it. Whenever you are lifting them up, just go ahead and make sure you guys see this little bolt right here, the one that you guys installed, has to go inside of this little hole. You always want to make sure it's sitting on that little hole because if not, then you're going to have a problem later on. And for some reason, the diff and the leaf springs are not lining up at all. I do have a video. Just go ahead and make sure to look through my channel. I do have a video explaining how to move the div. Once that bolt is sitting right inside that hole, just go ahead and put the nuts and then torque them to spec as well. And don't forget to put the shock, which is right here hanging, goes right there. And that socket for that shock is a 21 millimeters. So just go ahead and do that. Torque that to spec with the shock as well. It's pretty simple. Just go ahead and make sure you guys have whatever you need before you even start the job. For me, it's really simple having two jack stands. That way I can put one on the chassis and one on the differential itself. That way I can hold the differential up whenever I'm putting the leaf springs down. It's not a really bad of a job, just having the right tools. Like I tell everybody, if you don't have the right tools, then you can take probably the whole day. That's about it for this video. If this video was helpful, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys turn on notifications. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.